The Cuyuna Regional Medical Center is considering converting from a public hospital to a nonprofit. The idea was prompted back in 2011 when the physicians integrated into the hospital. One of the conditions of the integration was converting to a 501c3 nonprofit. In service for over 51 years, the organization has grown into a $10 million net revenue healthcare corporation. The CRMC CEO believes converting to a nonprofit hospital would provide more flexibility for this growing organization. So one, broader uh, geographic representation. Two, it gives uh, a more variety of board members. Right now, the, there's 18 board members are elected elected by the township. This will uh, be able to appoint directors based on their skills and abilities. Third thing is allow us to invest in di different investment vehicles that can help uh, contribute to the bottom line. So right now, we only can invest in T-bills, which are very low, low uh, interest rate. But if we have significant cash in the bank, it can contribute dramatically dramatically to our mission and help help with that process. If the proposal passes, the board also plans to put a primary care physician and a specialist on the governing board. No physician is currently present on the current board, but officials explain that adding one would bring a personal perspective on the health care delivery system. The change is also not expected to affect employees or patients. No employee will be asked to uh, reapply for their job, so all employees will come over at the same time. Same for the patients. The patients shouldn't feel any, anything different. It's the same face. It just gives, again, the hospital more flexibility to do different things. And then same with the physicians. If all physicians will come to the new corporation. The same bylaws will be used, but they'll have a greater voice on the strategic direction of the community. Governing Board has set a public hearing for April 20th at the Hartwood Senior Living in Crosby. Following the meeting, the board plans to take the issue up for a vote and make a decision on whether to continue as a public or nonprofit organization. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.